clip is on body awareness. And to teach body awareness, especially rear end and front end, I'm going to utilize a pot. I call it a pot. It also has the terminology of a tub, a perch, a brick, uh, it can have different names and different trainers can also have different applications on how they choose to use it. What I'm going to demonstrate is how I utilize the pot. So this is from a feed store. It's like a livestock uh, feeding dish for horses or uh, goats or what have you. It's rubber. I like it because it's non-slip, so it's made of rubber, it's not going to slip on the ground, it also is able to handle the weight of my dogs, it does not buckle underneath their weight, and it's very important that your uh, pot does not make any noise when the dog is standing on it. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is when I have a new dog that I'm teaching this to. This is Pounce. She knows the pot. I haven't used it for a while, so she might be a little bit rusty, but I'm going to place the pot down on the ground. Quite often, just the curiosity of the dog approaching the pot is what you want to click. Any movement towards the pot, the pot you want to click it. And I like to shape the behavior of them being able to just maybe touch it with a paw, put one paw on it, and I'll click all increments until I get two feet on the pot. So at any time you get stuck, the dog doesn't know what to do, I just throw a treat off to the side, and I'm standing right near the pot, and I like them to come back to it and see if they can figure out what to do. I really, really like to shape this exercise. I do not want to control the dog and tell them what to do. So, you know, use your patience and your clicker skills and uh, see if you can shape it. So here we go. I'm going to get my clicker out. I'm going to get some treats. I've got some cheese. So I'm going to put it in my mouth so it's nice and handy. And I'm going to drop the pot to the ground. So of course, I would click that immediately, and I'm also going to throw a piece off to the side so that you can come back to it. So once I achieve the dog or puppy actually going onto the pot, what I'm going to do is take my food right here and just slightly watch, move my body just a, t just a tad. And when I see any rear end movement at all, I'm going to click and reinforce that. And I'm not going to do a lot of movement because I really like the dog to be able to figure out what it is that gets the click. But sometimes that can be uh, a slow process for some dogs, so just a tiny little bit of upper movement. So again, the treat is right here, and I'm clicking increments of the rear moving. Then what I do is once I get the dog feeling pretty confident about going both ways around the pot, then what I can do is I put the treat in let me get it for camera angle. I'll put the treat above their nose. Now they're in heel position, and I'm just gonna slightly turn the head out. And as the, the head goes that way, the rear goes this way. So that's just gonna happen naturally. And then I'm going to teach them to go the other way. So if I turn the head in, the rear goes that way. So once they start to understand that, then I'm going to start to put a word to it, and I'm going to say in, in, good girl. And then out, out, excellent, very good. So once I achieve that with the lure, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the treat in my mouth, and because on fronts, 
This is where I want my dog looking, is right here. I don't want them looking at my hands, so I'm going to teach this now. And what I'm gonna do is I'll take a, a treat, I will have it in my mouth, and I'll blow as I'm bringing my hands down because your dog will wanna look at your hands because they're moving. So I blow to bring the focal point back up to my face. And I'm just gonna simply teach this, look up here no matter where my hands are or what my hands are doing. So once you achieve that, then I'm gonna add in just the slightest little bit of movement. Good girl. And that's because I want her really cueing off the slightest bit of what I'm doing. Good girl. Now if I move my shoulders to the right. Now I am looking down at Pounce, but I am not looking in her eyes per se. I'm more looking at her rear and what I want her rear to do. Good girl. Then my next step is going to be coming in now from the side. So we've already worked this with the food here. So what I'm gonna do now is show her that her reinforcement is now up here because this is where her focal point is. Good girl, good. Here's your look, yay, nice. So as soon as I move my shoulder just back a little bit, she picked up on it right away, and I reward from my armband. Very nice, very nice. Yes, good girl. So then what I'm gonna do is also go the other way. Nice, nice. Good girl, good. So she's trying to control herself, not going too fast. That was really nice. Very good. Excellent, okay, that's wonderful. So once you achieve that, then what I'm gonna do is start to teach her a fun game to find heel position. So what I'm gonna do is throw a treat. Ready, 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 ready. Get it, get it, get it. Good girl, stand in heel position, assume the position, and as soon as she finds heel position, I'm going to reinforce that. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Make it a little bit difficult. That was very good, that was very good. So she could have come in from behind, but she choose to came, come in this way and go around, and that's absolutely fine. Ready? I'll do just a couple more. Get it, get it. Good. Nice one, very good. Very good. You ready? Steady, steady. Excellent, that was very good. Good, okay. So it's a great exercise for both your younger dog and your older dog. And it really does gel where heel position is. Do make sure that your dog, when you're teaching this, that it's only the stand that you click. Because if they come in and sit, if they've been doing fronts, or, or an older dog, if they've been doing fronts and they're used to coming in and sitting, then make sure you don't click that because you really need to have the default stand so that they can move their rear back and forth. Okay, good job, pounds.